why it's so important that the NCRI has chosen to have a symposium on teenagers and young adults is because it brings to the fore the issues which have concerned us for some years that the outcomes of treatment for cancer are less satisfactory in this age group than they might be for children with similar cancers or indeed for older adults. Um, there is evidence that's coming from a, a number of sources ranging from uh, outcomes of trials through to what patients themselves tell us um, and, in, and including survival data from Europe which suggests that we've got some way to go in this group who have rather, become rather forgotten compared with uh, other groups of children and older adults. So it's quite clear that there isn't a single reason why outcomes may not be so good. It's going to relate in part to the biology of their cancers. Um, there is a particular spectrum of cancers that affect young people, including those hangovers from, from, the, from the cancers affecting younger children and the early onset carcinomas, but also including some specific cancers, um, notably bone sarcomas, Hodgkin's disease, that are particularly prevalent in young people. The biology of cancer changes here, and there is then some influence between the host and the tumour, which means that there seems to be some difference in outcome between treatments. Uh, a good example would be acute lymphoblastic leukaemia, in which there's good evidence that the results deteriorate as you become older. Equally, there's evidence that it makes a big difference how you then treat patients of this age with diseases like ALL, um, and that the approach taken by different communities within, within oncology uh, has been shown to lead to an up to 15% difference in survival. Um, so it's absolutely vital that we pick out the particular aspects of cancer that are important for, for young people and distinguish them from both from children and older adults. There's no doubt that the, uh, there needs to be a, um, a multi-targeted approach. We need uh, better, um, we need more clinical trials. We need greater accessibility of those trials for young people. We also need to make sure that they're acceptable to young people themselves. And there's a very key element of involving young people uh, in the development of a research agenda and in the development of future trials. But there also equal, equally needs to be um, a shift in attention, particularly from the adult community treating hematological diseases and solid cancers, to recognise that young people are really important and it's vital that you get it right and that you take note of what has been learnt by the uh, specialists that have, have built up around this particular area.